Well, hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Welcome. Hey, I was just thinking, I, I've been infatuated for, by walking sticks for a long time. There's lots of things on uh, YouTube today about making walking sticks. None of them kind of goes along with really the beginning uh, of a walking stick or how to really start out. Now you see a lot of things about here's my stick and here's what I did with it and, and all that's good, but none really explain how to get started. Um, so this is going to be about beginner's walking sticks. And actually my beginning was over a year ago. I do wood carving, as most a uh, lot of my subscribers know already, and uh, I like to do different faces, uh, things like that, and a lot of them would enhance your walking stick. You can carve, there's a lot on YouTube about carving faces, mushrooms, circles, selfie knots, all kind of such things, and, and I like to add those little things to the stick. And uh, that will be in a future video. But now, I'm going to talk about today about how to get started. And you can see behind me here, how I do it is I go out and I find sticks lying on the ground. And a stick, I like to have a little twist to my sticks. They don't have to be straight. See, this one's got a little curve to it. And when I pick them up, I'll, I'll cut them a little longer than what I think I should have. That way I can, I can uh, manipulate the top. Now this one's about the right height, and uh, it's pretty solid. But what I do is, I bring them home, stand them up against the building, and you stand them with the top down, and... Uh, to start with, let them dry out that way. If you leave them on the ground, your whichever end you leave is gonna get a little soft, maybe get a little rotten, and that'll have to be cut off. So it's best to have them. I've got some rock all around my building. Not not put them directly on the ground if you can keep from it. Better off to have some old boards or something down there that. That'll prevent that rot. Now, what I also do is let them sit here until I'll show you. See, this one's really curved. This one, I'll bring it home. And, uh, it has a lot of curve to it. And I may end up cutting this one off right about right about here. And, and that and, and maybe even cut it off again up here and, and use that as, uh, you know, I can see a lot of potential there. And you see it's already, the bark's already gone. Some of them you find the bark is gone. But what I like to do is leave them sit there. If I find them with the bark on like this, I leave them sit there until the bark starts to come off by itself like that. You can almost peel most of it all. Now that one is ready to work with. Uh, the bark is dry on it, which has come off with a, with my uh, uh, old uh, sander, I was going to call it, or cutter on my, on my, on my little machine that I have, and I'll show you that later. But what you want to do is leave them standing up like this. Until the bark starts to uh, start to actually get loose. Now this one here has not been up there very long, or not long enough. The bark is still pretty tight on it. Now it could be cleaned off. It's dried out pretty good, and it's a straight, a fairly straight stick. That's going to make a nice walking stick, and uh, very straight and strong. Uh, here is here is one that marks pretty well gone. Here's a bigger one. Here's here's a couple more. 
Now look at this one. This one is, these are larger diameters, which which means you can really do a lot more carving. And see, this one's ready because I can peel some of the bark off like so. Uh, very, very easy. So this one is pretty much ready to ready to use. And this one here, the same situation. Here, here goes the bark. Easy to peel off in places. Now, I don't expect you to get it all off by hand. But you could actually leave them sitting this way for long enough to where you could get it all off uh, by hand. Now, the interesting thing about this one is, see where a beaver? That's a natural cut by a beaver out in the wild. And, and uh, I may even leave that and utilize it. Uh, this has been gnawed on by a beaver right in there so there's all kind of possibilities for this one now anyway today is about getting this video started and just showing you what to do to get get your walking stick started uh, gives you a lot of variety every time you go on a hunt out in the woods just come home with a few sticks. I deer hunt in the fall. Actually, I cook and keep the fire going. Don't do much hunting nowadays because I just uh, get into the age of where I enjoy my mornings in bed. So anyway, here here we go. This one here, you see the bark is loose enough that uh, it's got some moss growing on it there. But it's it's going to make a nice walking stick. So that's about it for this video. I wanted to show you that you bring them full when you're out on the river bank or uh, ocean front or whatever, picking up driftwood, you'll find a lot of these poles uh, that's, that's really uh, there. This is the driftwood pickup right here. It's a bigger, uh, bigger, but work. That's just all kind of shapes that you'll pick up, uh, even out of the driftwood pile. Now, what I'd like to do, it, it really don't matter. You don't have to keep them separated. I've got some on the other side of my, my building here. Uh, I, I just stack them up right here. And uh, you, you, when you get ready to, to uh, work with a walking stick or make one, then you have a stash here. My next video, I'm going to show you how to. It's going to be about getting the getting the remaining bark and get it, get the basic preparation done. How I do that. Now, I'll see you in the next video. And this is going to be a series about walking. Stuff.